Hello, welcome to my show. My name's Patrick. There's so much going on and it's pretty overwhelming. Every aspect of our life is being affected by deception. We will rule by deception. There are groups of people out there that have that as their logo. And um, pretty prominently, they just display it, they let you know. One of the aspects in our culture is this whole transgender thing that is going on. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, people dressing from the opposite sex from which they were born has been part of the human experience going way, way back, before Rome and Greece. And uh, it's just been there. The thing is, it, it has been underground, as it were, and uh, they didn't have access to the children. Nowadays, they want access to your children to really, these vulnerable beings exploit them to uh, this outrageous, uh, before they're 18. So when I douse, I go, well, when should we have sex education in a way? I mean, basically, uh, let people decide transgender issues and things like they're gay. And, and it, you know, the dowsing said universally, uh, 17 years old. Don't even talk about it. Just get the children to 17, have good education, good sports, good arts, you know, that sort of thing. They're sort of exposed to it through the arts, but you can't make any decision for yourself until you're 17. Uh, the trend now is, well, any age, any age they can make a decision, but there's adults involved every single time. There's adults changing and manipulating the children to a certain way that they probably aren't, all right? Because people who have these proclivities really don't know until they're older teen. That's just my viewpoint, and we'll move on from there. But the culture is going somewhere else because they want to undermine the culture. They want to destroy the culture. I, they probably already have. I don't know if we can pull it back. So I just wanted to go on to something kind of funny. Uh, <clears throat> Victoria's Secrets. Remember I, I, I talked about that a while back and uh, um, I got it mixed up now. I can't remember. But basically all models at Victoria's Seats, both the show in New York City, you know they have a show once a year of Victoria's Secrets and it's all these long-legged uh, and they have a catalog. And basically if you, all the models together it's about 50% are men. All right, fifty percent of Victoria's Secret are men. Now I forget which one was more. Let me just do this quickly. Uh, could you give me the show? Okay, let's go to here. What percent? What percent are men in Victoria's Secret New York City show? What percent are men? Okay, that's the, that's the sixty percent. Okay, and then the catalog is like forty forty five percent. All right, are men. And then the seek, and then the uh, the New York City show. Those th those are sixty percent men in that show. And where did Vic and Victoria's Secret is that they're men? That's the secret. Through deception, we shall rule. You got to know this. And this is all directed at the subconscious mind. This is all the subconscious mind. This is all a form of hypnosis, and uh, it's it's called in gender confusion. They're doing this on purpose. They want the kids, they want the, the family to be destroyed, the nuclear family. And uh, the country won't survive without the nuclear family, and it will fall over dead if there is not a correction of some sort, you know. At least putting the political um, priorities for the family, for the children. Those are the vulnerable ones. They need to be protected. You, you, you just can't have access to the children to do what you want uh, and mess with their heads. You can't mess with their heads. And that, that's, there's no way around this. Even, even in Rome, even in uh, Greece, they, they knew all this. When they tried to seduce, I believe, Socrates in Plato's Republic, uh, he didn't go along with it. You know, he was at a dinner and they go, come on, let's give you a boy, let's do this. And he goes, no, no. 
He wasn't passing judgment on them. He refused to bend. He was a 10, by the way. Socrates was an incredible human being, very high. You know, he's one of these stars that just come through the system. And of course, they don't want to teach that anymore. And they don't want to teach Shakespeare anymore. People are attacking Shakespeare. Why? Because they're low vibration and he was extremely high vibration. And uh, on the aside of Shakespeare, I do have it someone else. I got to find the name of the movie, but within the last eight, ten years, they made a movie where an aristocrat, nobleman, he wrote the plays. And he hired Shakespeare, who was a theater person, to submit the plays and produce them. And uh, the, the nobleman gave Shakespeare money to put them on, and, but he needed to be hidden because the topics were very sensitive. And that kind of makes sense because it, it, Shakespeare obviously had a great education. And, and that's one of the things, you know, this argument that, oh, Shakespeare had this education. No, he didn't. He didn't. The, but uh, a, person, a person knowing Latin and ancient Greek and stuff in that time, it was probably someone of the aristocracy who had money. And um, that movie probably was correct, more so than Francis Bacon being Shakespeare. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, so, uh, Victoria's Secret also, I think, is a play off of the words uh, Victorian era, right? That's when the transgender movement and literature, I think, exploded. And Victor Victoria, you remember that movie? And that was a, a transgender, Julia Andrews, who played Mary Poppins. And she probably was a guy. She probably was a guy. And in Victor Victoria, she played, uh, I, I never saw the movie, so I don't know. But uh, <clears throat> again, Victor, Victoria, Victoria's Secret, Victoria Era. And uh, the, so this Victoria thing keeps coming up related to that issue. And, you know, they, no one knows what percent of the population has this. I think uh, that's why I get, you know, get the kids through their teenage years because they don't know. You have the, all those hormones blowing through your system and the kids are just confused. They need stability at that age. And they need to be who they really are. And, and you see their argument the argument of transgenderism is like, well, you're preventing these people from being who they want to be. And I, I, I say they don't know who they want to be at five, six, seven, ten years old. That's ridiculous. That's just, that's just child abuse. You let them be who they want to get them through to their 17 years old. And the majority of people will figure it out for themselves. But this is when you start abusing people when they're children... It's going to have a profound impact when they're in their 30s. And they, they may come back when they're 35 and ask, why did you do this to me? That's, that's going to happen. It is happening. Uh, <clears throat> there is a movement of people who had the transgender, you know, operation. And uh, they regret it. They said uh, all the doctors for that are rigged. So if you go in there and go, okay, I have these transgender issues, doctor, what I should do? And the doctor said, get the operation, you know, the psychiatrist or, and, or psychologist. That's all they know. That's the only answer they give. It's like when you go into uh, the abortion clinics, the uh, Planned Parenthood, you go in there, they only sell abortions, but they make it sound like, oh, we're going to show you your options. No, your only option is abortion. That's all they do. It's 100% abortions. And you go into transgender uh, psychologists or psychiatry, that's the only option they give. And they put you on this train to uh, get these sex change operations. And the people who get the operations say they're awful. They're very painful. Uh, it takes a while. And there's a movement of people who went through these operations and regretted it. And they, and they actually, these are the same people. So it's going to come from within the transgender movement, a challenge to this whole movement. It's not like me or you or whatever. I mean, it's going to be people who have experienced it and they're going to come forward and they have been and saying, this, this is morally wrong. 
You got to let the kids be kids. You can't shove this this really really complex issues down their throat so early in their life cuz you mess up their whole life. They don't care. Part of this thing is a political and cultural uh, expression to deceive you. It's all about deception. The whole culture is about deception. Everything we're going through. I, I actually douse that there are many CEOs that are transgender, you know. And when you see them, and other people did this, it's, it's not me. When you go explore it and you see it, you see these women that are CEOs. Boy, a lot of them look like short old men. They are. They're short old men. And they're CEOs. And this has been going on for a long time. And it's not a lot, but it's a significant number, like 9%, you know, things like that. So look at all the women that are CEOs of the Fortune 500, and it'll be interesting. It's, and a lot of politicians, a lot of politicians, a lot of movie stars. I already had it. The top 20 movie stars uh, for both men and women are transgender, 50%, excuse me, 50% of the top 20 and then when I go to the top 50 it's actually more it's like 22 percent so it's there it's been there and everybody in these industries know what's going on they know it and it's to confuse your subconscious mind that's one thing it's a luciferian concept show me the transgender movement please loving Christ the loving Buddha show me the transgender what is the vibration the vibration is zero it is a Luciferian satanic ritual and uh, it's really not to pass judgment on the individual people who are experiencing uh, transgender um, experience you know because there's a part of the population where it's genuine it's like one half of one percent but what they're doing is they're forcing this down the children because they want to get the kids all messed up by the time they're in high school and they won't know what is up or down. Then, and, and my point is they won't know who they are. The young men, the young women don't know who they are when they're 17 because so many adults have put their hand manipulating them when they're very young. And that's probably where the really dark aspects is. Through deception, we will rule. That is Lucifer. That's, there's no other way around it. It never comes up as a positive. Never. But for the people that are truly born that way, that's a whole different issue. That's a whole different issue. But we're not getting a genuine uh, uh, examination. They don't want to know. They want to put 100% of the young boys, 100% of the young women, through a school system where it's all twisted. And they won't have... And they won't be able to be the young spiritual warriors to go out into the world to really bring uh, a really high creative um, art and lives together. So it, it's probably the end of the culture. It's probably the end of the country. Because what made the country strong were a lot of these role models. And uh, remember, remember that guy, uh, Campbell, Joseph Campbell. He always did an interesting work, but he always saw things as art type, you know, these, these roles we play. And uh, there's a lot to that, you know. We put it in literature, the big books. I don't want to ramble too much. That's my general thing. It's going to shock everybody. Do you notice how we said this about a year ago that the transgender thing will be pushed more and more? It's breaking out into the open. People are exposing it. But at the same time, they're just bringing it out culturally, saying, well, you can't say anything. And, you know, and it's just like, uh, <clears throat> who runs the country, you know? And I would say heterosexual women and heterosexual men are on the bottom of the, the list now. You don't get jobs. You don't get power. Uh, you, 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 can't, you can't say or participate almost in the culture now. They have, well, they, they figured the only way to get transgender people into political power right now is to attack the heterosexual people and uh, that's what they're doing that's what you're seeing and they're making it you scared to speak you know so you can't say what I'm saying out in public if you have a job or if you're in the office I don't even know how people make it through office these days I really don't 
you're walking on eggshells, you, you don't know what what is what. <laughs> you don't know what culturally is going on. Somebody wants, you can't, I guess you go around calling someone, hey you, <laughs> you don't know if they're the her. Uh, and I'm not a prude, but I understand that it's gonna do damage to the whole country, the way it's going. And it's extreme. This cultural Marxism, that's where it comes from. It comes from all that. And you know, you all read that. Go read about the Frankfurt School. These guys are wacko. They're just crazy. And this has been planned out for a long, long time. There's a lot of thought behind how this is being presented. And it's being hurried up. And in some ways, Trump is a resurrection of, of the yin and the yang. It's, it's, it's resurrecting. And the people that are behind track, it's very complicated. It's all about energy. Even though Trump is from the rich aristocracy himself, he's, a, he's from the ruling class. And there's an aspect of the ruling class that presented him to say, no, this is not the way we're going. So this is, this is a civil war between the ruling class and it's seeping down. And the, the, the bad Luciferian guys, they run uh, CNN and MSC. They have that. And until that is corrected, this, this battle, this war will not be uh, over. And it's going to affect the economy. It's going to affect the, 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 the military will of the people. And spiritually, it's messing people up because these demons are getting into their auric field and things. And it's making it difficult for the nation to, to have a grasp of itself, to be centered. And, and you know how you bring your soul all the way into to your body and the, you know, grounded, grounded. <laughs> That's what it's expression. So this, the country needs to be grounded. The country is, has their chakras. The, the nation of the United States, every country has all these chakras and they're messing around with the root chakra, which is your, and, and uh, your sacral chakra. These things, they know what they're doing. They're attacking them and uh, we're gonna need resistance. And Max is an alpha male and he doesn't, he doesn't like this topic. He said, let me run the country. <laughs> Thank you. I kind of went off, but I thought you would find uh, that whole Victoria's Secret kind of interesting. It's starting to break out. You remember this? <laughs> this is how they think. The, the president of, of Victoria's Secret said, and he was friends with Epstein, by the way. This is all sorted. This is really, really sorted. But uh, he said... I found out there was a, a, a man in the New York City fashion show for Victoria's Secret, like it's every spring. And he said, I will not have this. That's way out of control. We will not have any transgender. These are all women. It's very important that everyone knows we make, and it, it's a big lie. <laughs> you see how it's a big lie? That issue was nothing. He just went out and told you that they actually had in a reverse uh, psychological way uh, he said, we, there's men in here. That he, what he's not telling you is, in that show, there's 60% men. It's not one. <laughs> and he made like, oh, I'm really... No, they're, you know, they're almost all men. You just can't figure it out. But it's, um, it's pretty warped, and they're doing this on purpose. And it's on TV, it's on commercials, it's on... Uh, uh, in books, only in literature, they're just pushing the movies. The movies are stuffed with it, and, uh, and it's stuffed with all the pedophiles, and they're doing it openly in your face because you no longer have the power. They took away it from the, the black family, the white family. There's no nuclear family anymore, and that's the strength of the people against their government is the nuclear family. I mean, it's just the way it is. They're, you can't sugarcoat it, and it's obvious they want to destroy it, and uh, uh, I can go on and on about how this whole thing of women being the only, uh, from feminism, it's not working. It's not working. And it's, and it's like I said before, it'll come from that group. It'll come from former feminist women or, or radical feminist women. It'll come from the transgender people saying, no, this is all messed up. This is all messed up. This is about money and power and we're gonna make it's gonna make America like an also country that's the also goal and I read that 30 40 years ago it, they wrote plainly well how do how do you take America down that was their problem that was their issue and this is how they do it they knew this was 
And this goes back to a lot of these writers from way, way back to 1890s. You go to Europe and these psychological writers. All right. Thank you. Have a good day. Uh, I thought that would be kind of interesting. And don't forget, a big chunk of these uh, politicians are, are transgender. Bye-bye.